Right now on Global, we finally have the ability to take on part seven of the Plate Kidna Raid. This is the hardest part release to date, and it is recommended that you have 260,000 team power per phase, which is absolutely insane. Now, I'm going to be beating this with a 168,000 team and a 186,000 power team. These teams do work very well for each stage. It makes it fairly easy to clear this consistently and I will show you guys the runs here in a minute but let's take a look at the gear and what you want to be putting on characters okay so for Julius you're going for all magic attack on him so if we go in here and take a look at his gear you'll see that it's all magic attack and then as for sets I have magic attack sets and I also have a penetration set so main stat that you're going for is magic attack and then magic attack sets with penetration works really well on Julius and then besides Julius we have Charlotte here for Charlotte I like to go with a speed set to give her a little bit more speed so hopefully she goes before Julius in a lot of scenarios it is hard to actually get her to go before Julius anymore because I have my Julius leveled up so much and his speed is so high and his talent tree is done and whatnot so but go for a full mobility set Ideally, you have the full gold set. I just don't, which is why she's not as fast as she could be. And then as for the uh, main stat, you want to go for primarily attack because Charlotte is an attack character, but she's not going to do that much damage. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much. So those are the sets I would run on Charlotte for gear. As for Lotus, I would also I run a uh, speed set on him. But as of, right, as of right now, I have literally nothing on him and it's not necessary. Okay, so you can literally run Lotus without gear if you want to, which is what I'm going to do. And then for Mimosa, on the gear, uh, it's all magic attack and some extra defense plus 250, which isn't even that much. Ideally, you can actually switch this out for like defense plus 30, the gold set, which would be better for her survivability, but it's not necessary. And then everything here you'll notice is magic attack, giving her more healing because her healing scales off of magic attack. So give her as much of that as possible for Mimosa. As for talent trees, Julius is the only one with his talent tree done. I think Mimosa has like two or three slots. And if you want to maximize damage with Julius, I guess I can show you his talent tree real quick. Uh, for this, I am running a 10% increased damage dealt upon attacking a boss. And then I am running magic attack plus seven because his damage is based on magic attack. For this, I'm just giving him extra defense. Uh, and crit resist and then for this I actually have the 20% chance to reduce skill 2 because it gives the mobility down with this skill card which is really good in this particular boss battle and then I just have damage resist plus 10% so that is team 1 and that is the gear for team 1 now team 2 is the team that I'm really kind of proud of because I feel like not a lot of people are taking this approach or this strategy and it works really really well so we have a defensive healer another defensive healer and a barrier character who's also an attacker and then Asta for the main damage as a counter attacker which is really interesting to see so basically we have uh, Noel and Kahono put barriers and then Noel is going to put her uh, blessing of water on Asta Asta is just going to counter like every single attack that the enemy does and do damage over time it does take a little bit longer with this team but it works out pretty well as for gear on Asta I'll show you what I have I have all attack gear so every single stat here is attack ideally for the substats you want attack percentages if you can get them right and you can see that he has 19,000 additional attack as for sets that you have on him i would go for an attack set ideally a gold attack set but i don't have that on him i have a uh, crit damage set for using a special skill which is really good on asta obviously and then a penetration set so like not the best sets but also not the worst so that's pretty decent on Asta. And then as for the talent tree, I do actually have his talent tree done as well. I went for damage dealt plus 5% and crit damage plus 10%. You could always go for the boss damage and stuff like that too, uh, which would be a good option. So you could go for the damage dealt from a boss and then you could go for crit damage, which is an option you could go for. Then I have defense and defense plus four and crit resist plus four. And then I also have the skill two cooldown and I also have the accuracy and penetration buff. To give him a little bit more damage so that's what i'm running on asta for my talent tree and then on kahono kahono is a really interesting character so for gear wise i just have a bunch of hp on her because her stuff scales based off of hp so you could run all hp stuff like this or you could build like an hp type set and give her extra hp and stuff like that i i just prefer to do it this way it's just simpler this way and she does pretty well for barriers and healing with this type of build and nothing's done on her talent tree because she's relatively new for Noelle, on her gear, it is all magic attack. I have a regular magic attack set. Once again, would be better if you have a gold set. 
I have a crit resist set just to give her a little bit more survivability and I have a penetration set. Eventually I'll replace the crit resist set, but for right now it works pretty well on Noel. And you'll notice the main stat once again is magic attack. We're adding 19,000 magic attack to her. And then the talent tree, I do have her talent tree done as well. I just have increased magic attack to give her bigger barriers. And then I also have increased crit rate which it doesn't really matter. You could go for whatever you want on her. Defense plus 20% and Grant's defense. Once again, the same things that I always run. And then on this one, I have damage resist and I have the skill to cool down once again because I want to be able to barrier as much as possible. You'll notice that whenever I can have the skill to cool down chance, a lot of times I'll pick it. The only other one I'll really pick on the support tree is going to be like the special skill uh, gauge filling back up faster. And then for Charmy, it's pretty similar to Kahono's build, just a bunch of HP because her stuff scales off of HP as well and nothing really done on her talent tree either. So those are the two teams I'm going to be running. The first team is going to be a lot quicker, a lot easier than team two. Team two is going to take a little bit. So with all that said, let's get into it. The phase one boss starts as a green debuffer, but each time you damage Plate Kidna in either phase, they change the type that they are. So keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do uh, defense down right here. Okay, change to a green type, right? So keep that in mind if you wanna maximize your damage. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to do mobility down, get rid of whatever mobility he has right there. All right, so now mobility is down. Ideally, you land the double defense down with Charlotte and the crit resist down, which is a lot better, but we didn't this time, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and do our skill with Lotus here, try to reduce speed, got incapacitate and reduce speed, which is helpful. Now we're gonna go ahead and do extend buffs potentially on Julius and give increased damage resist and stuff like that. I am not gonna ult yet because we should be able to keep his mobility gauge down so he doesn't get a turn before Julius gets to ult. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that, which is good. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the incapacitate with Charlotte. And you can see Julius did 53,000 right there. We have the incapacitate. Now we're gonna go ahead and do concentrated attack, which makes our attacks hit like crits. Okay. So now if we take a look at the enemy, they have concentrated attack for one turn, they have reduced damage resist, incapacitate, reduced crit resist, reduced speed, reduced speed, okay, or reduced defense, sorry, it was that last one. And you'll notice he still has not gotten a turn, and we're going to stop him from getting a turn again here in a second, so let's go ahead and use our ult this time. 188,000, and notice we do, uh, depleted his mobility gauge again, which is a little bit insane. Go ahead and do a normal attack with Mimosa, do defense down with Charlotte. And we'll do mobility depletion again, so his mobility gauge just goes away. <laughs> it's it's so dumb that you're able to just do this, right? Okay, he just never really gets a turn and you just win the game. All right, now we'll go ahead and do this. And we should be able to extend debuffs with Lotus coming up here. We'll extend debuffs. So now all the debuffs are extended with the mobility down and stuff like that, which is insane, right? We're gonna go ahead and heal with Mimosa here so it doesn't count as an attack. Right, so it doesn't fill up the gauges uh, faster. We're gonna do defense down. And now we're gonna do mobility depletion again. And now he still hasn't gotten a chance to attack us, which is just ridiculous, right? Mobility down again. And again. <laughs> and now we'll do our incapacitate. And big damage from Julius, right? We are. We can use Mimosa's attack here. It won't fill up his gauge too much. We're good on that. We're going to go ahead and just extend. And reduce mobility again. And reduce defense. We got another defense stack on him. We're go we'll go ahead and heal this time. That way we're not filling up his mobility gauge. He might still get it right here. Uh, nope. Actually, we got it first. Okay, cool. Big. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, we'll do this. Reduce the speed. Okay, here comes an attack. Everybody should be fine, right? And we're pretty close to ending this now. Yep, there we go. All right, now we are on phase two. It is a green type enemy to start with, but we counter and change it to red immediately. So keep that in mind. All right, with that said, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to combo attack with Asta because now he's blue, we, uh, changed again. Um, and so we're not gonna do the most amount of damage, but we wanna get rid of the barrier and also get some continuous healing going on him from the combo with Kahono. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And Kahono is one of the best combo healers. She's really, really good for that. 
put the barrier and counter attack on Asta there. We'll go ahead and get our healing amount up with that move and increase our defense. We'll get the continuous healing going with Charmy here. All right. And now we are all set for his attack. Hopefully we'll be okay. We'll go ahead and do this. Pretty decent damage. You're not going to do anything like massive with Asta, but like 50,000 is about the norm on counter attacks and attacks, which is pretty good. All right, we're going to go ahead and just do this. Now we're going to ult with Charmy preemptively to give ourselves extra defense. Okay, he's going to attack us, but we should be fine. Like, look at that. No damage to Charmy because of that extra defense. Kahono's fine as well. Go ahead and do that. Here comes another attack. Everybody's mostly okay. Go ahead and do this. Oh, I think we had a barrier up right there, actually. I think it came back up and we didn't do it. Oh, well. It's fine. We'll go ahead and uh, do this with Kahono. Get everybody healed up. Get our continuous healing going again with Charmy. And remove continuous damage on them. Alright, he's going to probably start to charge up again right here. Alright, and from here we'll do skill 2. Alright, he's getting ready to cast. Right in time for the barrier. We'll go ahead and do this. Very big barrier from Noel because we have her magic attack leveled up. Now we're going to go ahead and do... Well, actually, let's... Uh, I don't think we need the second barrier yet. Let's wait a turn. Alright. We'll do that second barrier to kind of complement when the barrier runs out from Noel. Everybody should be okay here. Yeah. Get that counter. 73,000. Really nice damage. Now we have an ultimate with Asta. Here comes another attack. We should be able to get another counter. Beautiful. All right, here comes another attack. <laughs> everybody should be okay still. Yeah, everybody's fine. We're good. Okay, we'll get this going. All right, now we're able to do Kahono's barrier, right? To give everybody barriers again. It's not a massive barrier like Noelle's, but 15,000 is still something. Get continuous healing going again. All right, and he's about ready to cast, so keep that in mind. All right, and now we have this barrier again with Noelle, though, so we're good. Right, and get that healing going and he's about to cast right here after yep okay get the counter nice 83,000 damage from Asta very good we'll all take some damage right there I'm a little bit scared for her uh, hopefully she'll be okay can we get some healing no uh, Charmy will heal with the combo attack okay we'll just do this then this should hopefully heal Noelle a little bit. I'm a little bit scared for Noelle now. It would have been nice to get our barrier back up just to be a little bit more safe. Uh, the snake boy's going to attack and probably kill Noelle here. It's, uh, that's going to be really bad for us if that happens. Okay, he's charging. Okay, ah, uh, why is our barrier still not back up, bro? Yo, this is not okay, and we're still away from our ult with uh, Charmy. We need that ult. Okay, well... All right, we're still okay for now. Uh, we'll get this barrier up at least. That's good. That's good. That'll help a little bit. All right, and we'll get this. Should heal Noel. Good. Here comes a big attack, though. Oof. Okay. All right, we have gotten through the, the danger part, I feel like, for the most part. Hopefully. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon. We'll see. All right, there we go. Everybody's kind of low, but we have our barriers finally, right? We have our ultimate with Noel. We have our ultimate coming up with Charmy for healing. So I think we're in a decent place. Let's go ahead and yeah, we're going to save Kahona's ult. We're not going to use it yet. We'll do that healing. Do Charmy's ultimate. Give ourselves some extra defense for two turns. All right, we'll use this with Asta. Okay, the barrier's gone. And we'll ult with Noel here. Here comes that. Everybody's fine because we have barriers. We get the counter attack. And now we got Asta's ult. Right, we do have Kahono's healing, and Kahono's will give HP and then grants all allies increased attack. Uh, 
I don't think we necessarily want to use that yet because like nobody's super crazy low. So we're gonna wait a second. We will go ahead and use this though, preemptively, because it'll heal. Right, yep, looking okay. Here comes another attack. Don't kill anybody. Literally killed the one person you don't want him to kill. Oh, of course he did. Uh, so from here, I guess we're relying on Noel to try and get the damage in, which is going to be a little bit more rough. Alright, so that's the way it is, I guess. Can't do much about that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do this to increase our healing next turn. Alright, from here he's going to attack. We should get the counter. Right, but not for a lot of damage. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be so rough at this point, but Noel should be able to do some damage, right? All right, we're just going to do whatever we can. Whatever we can at this point. Makes it take way long. Normally, Asta doesn't die. Um, just really unfortunate that he did this time. All right, here comes a big attack. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, everybody else is fine. We can just do this again. Oh my gosh, it took our barrier away on Noel. Hello? Okay. Let's get the healing going, I guess, on everybody. Do this. Noel might die. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. That's super unfortunate. That's so nuts. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> oh man, we are hanging on by a string. Oh, by a thread. Does she survive it, though? I doubt. Ugh. No barrier from Noel yet. That's very, very rough right now. We do have increased defense. It might be enough. It might be enough to get us there. Like I said, normally this doesn't happen. Normally Asta survives, right? So this is just like a very rough run, but I think we'll still be able to get it done here. All right, we did have everybody's barrier there. We get the counter for a little bit of extra damage. Get the continuous healing going. I will right, we'll do this. All right, he is red type, so he's barely going to hurt anybody right there, which is perfect. Now we can ult with Noel. 37,000. Like, we're really close now. We're really, really close now. Get the counter. He's off of blue type. Back to red. Now he's to green. All right, he's going to start charging again. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, barriers. All right, here we go. Here comes the attack. Nice. Like this team, like look at the sustain. It just takes forever, but it could work pretty well. And another attack. <laughs> so much survivability, though. Get another barrier going with Kahono. Alright, and we will attack with Charmy here. Changed him to green. This is going to change him to blue for this attack. Which is a little bit scary. Uh, we will get the defense up though with Charmy, so this should help us all survive. Ideally. Alright, so here it comes. Kahono is so close to death, but I think we're I think we're good. I think we're in the clear right here with that barrier. And then we can heal with Kahono. And then this attack should be the last counter attack we need. And there we go! Oh my goodness, that took so much longer without Asta. So you can see how good Asta is here. Unfortunately, he died in that run. Normally, when I do these runs, he doesn't die. So that's just <laughs> the way that one played out. But you, you can do it with just those three, I guess, technically. And it would just take a uh, very long time. But yeah, that was part seven of the Plate Kidna Raid Boss. Hopefully that helped you guys out a little bit, gave you a strategy that you can potentially try out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider going down there, hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button. And thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.